Is blending ethanol with petrol actually safe? If petrol is burning along with ethanol, what good can it really do to our environment? Will it affect your car's mileage? Worried that E20 will wear your engine out and damage your fuel injectors? What does it really mean for India's future? Did you know that 85% of crude oil used in India is bought from other countries? Not only is that expensive and adds a major toll on our foreign reserves, but also burning all that fuel only makes our pollution problem worse. The government saw a solution to this problem in the ethanol blending program, an initiative to mix ethanol, which is a clean, renewable biofuel made from crops like sugarcane, maize and surplus grains with petroleum. This blended fuel is also called E20, meaning 20% ethanol mixed with 80% petrol. When the ethanol blending program was first introduced, the government said that the goal was to reduce India's dependence on imported oil, protect foreign reserves and lower carbon emissions. And we were successful in doing it. India achieved its target of 20% ethanol blending with petrol five years ahead of schedule. Worried that E20 will wear your engine out and damage your fuel injectors? You're not alone. Many people have the same fear. Two of India's automobile industry bodies, SIAM and ARAI, conducted tests which proved that E20 had no negative impact on engine life or performance. Ever since E20 has become a base fuel in India, no engine failure or breakdown has been reported as per the Petroleum Minister Hardeep Singh Puri. On the contrary, the industry body said that because ethanol burns cleaner, it actually reduces carbon deposits and helps keep your engine healthier. The idea that using E20 will cut your car's mileage in half is also not the complete truth. Yes, it is true that since ethanol has a lower energy density than petrol, vehicles may see a small drop in mileage, about 1-2% for four-wheelers calibrated for E20 and designed for E10, and roughly about 3-6% in other vehicles. But let's put this in perspective. Given this current dip in mileage, for a car that runs 15 km per litre, you'd get about 588 instead of 600 km on a full tank. That's 6 to 12 kilometers less. Not to forget, there are multiple other reasons which can also impact mileage, including driving habits, maintenance, tyre pressure, among others. If petrol is burning along with ethanol, what good can it really do to our environment? Evidently, quite a lot. Life cycle studies conducted by Niti Aayog have shown that greenhouse gas emissions are 65% lower with sugarcane ethanol and 50% lower with maize ethanol compared to petrol. Let me give you an example to understand this better. Imagine you're blowing balloons. Petrol is like a balloon that gets really, really big with smoke every time you use it. But when we use ethanol made from sugarcane, that smoke balloon is only one third the size. And when we use ethanol made from maize, it's about half the size. So ethanol makes a lot less dirty smoke than petrol, which keeps our air cleaner. And the numbers speak for themselves. Since 2014, ethanol blending has slashed 736 LMT of carbon dioxide. That's like planting 30 crore trees. As for the Petroleum Ministry, E20 is a big win for farmers. Between 2014 and 2025, over rupees 2.02 lakh crore have already been paid to farmers and distillers. But it doesn't stop there. While ethanol can sometimes cost more than refined petrol, the government says that the real impact isn't just about pump price, but about savings and stability. Since 2014, blending ethanol has saved India Rs 1.44 lakh crore in foreign exchange and by 2025 alone, projections say another Rs 43,000 crore will be saved. India is in the first country to experiment with higher ethanol blends. In Brazil, cars have been running on E20, E27 and even pure ethanol for decades. Drivers there can choose the pump based on the price. Today. Most new cars in Brazil can run entirely on ethanol, showing that large-scale adoption can actually work. Taking a leaf from Brazil's experience, the government is keen to engage with consumers, automakers and other stakeholders to make the ethanol blending program a success. The effort now is to ensure that we keep with the technological updates and ready our supply chain for the future.